I just got done reading this article from NBC News and I thought it was fascinating. Well, at least it was fascinating to me, maybe because I'm a real estate agent, but I thought the information was very valuable to share with you. Now, it talked about absentee owners who are purchasing property with cash. Now, absentee owners is cool and all, but what really astonished me was how many homes were purchased with cash compared to a conventional mortgage. See, cash offers skyrocketed during the pandemic. I mean, basically, the average Joe who was purchasing it from the mortgage was squeezed out time and time and time again and how many cash buyers are out there. And we take a look at this graph provided by NBC News and Adams Data, we can see how many cash buyers entered the market. Take a look at Detroit. Look at this increase in Seattle, Miami, Charlotte, Baltimore, and now check out Phoenix, Arizona. Cash buyers increased by a whopping 45%. That is just insane. But here at the Homestead Jacuzzi team, we focus on Southeast Florida, primarily Palm Beach and Broward counties. So what happened here? Well, we selected a handful of communities and this is what it looked like. Let's look at the zip code 33076, which is West Parkland and Northwest Coral Springs. The number of transactions for cash purchases over mortgages increased from 20.5% to 35.7. That is crazy. That's over 15%. Now let's go to municipal Boca Raton, which is not the whole encompassing Boca we think of uh, west and east. This is mostly out in east Boca. And it increased from 43% to 55.3%. Now what's crazy about that is how many cash buyers are purchasing in Boca even before the pandemic. This goes back to 2019, by the way, 43%. And now it's over half. Now let's look at Boynton Beach, the municipal area of Boynton Beach, Florida, which is a little further north of Boca Raton. They increased from 28.7% to 36.5. That's about 8% increase in cash buyers. Basically, you can go from zip code to zip code, city to city, and you see the same thing across the board more times than not. And before we talk about who these cash buyers are, I thought it was a really good idea to talk about these numbers and how many cash buyers are out there that the average buyer is competing with. If you are a real estate professional, this is something you probably should share with your clients. And if you are looking in Southeast Florida or anywhere in general, and for some reason you're not using the Homes by Kuzi team or affiliate realtor around the country, I don't understand why you wouldn't, but let's say you're not, this is good information to share with your real estate agent because it's really good to have an idea of what you're going up against. What are you competing with? It's pretty astonishing. So if you're going against all these cash buyers, how can you get really, really strong on your financed offers? There are a number of ways and you can reach out to us to discuss those. Okay, so who are these cash buyers? As we mentioned earlier, a lot of them are absentee owners. These are essentially people who are gonna purchase property with the idea of renting them out later. They're absent, they're not in the property themselves. They're not end users. But in addition to that, what we have are large corporations and smaller ones using LLCs who are very experienced and have a lot of cash behind them, something that the average buyer simply doesn't have. And then on top of that, we are competing with a lot of baby boomers, at least here in Southeast Florida, who are recently retiring from more Northern states. They're retiring more quickly thanks to COVID when they realized they can work more from home or maybe they were just burnt out. And a lot of these baby boomers are getting money passed down from their parents who may be passing or just handing cash down before they do. It's generational wealth at its finest. And here's the thing about these cash buyers. When the interest rates went up, the design to cool down the market, it really helped them. It was the perfect store for them. The bidding wars went down. The interest rates stopped the competition. The prices stopped being so ambitiously large from sellers for the most part. In essence, Interest rates don't apply to them because again, they're buying with cash with 0%. So how does the average Joe compete against all that? I mean, if you keep on reading the article, you can see where Ryan Pivlock, I might be saying that name incorrectly, but you can see what he says inside at the bottom of the article. He says that he made offers on nine different properties, one of which was above asking, and he got squeezed out and outbid on all of them. Essentially, he gave up on purchasing a home. Now, I know with the Homes by Kuzi team, we had buyers had very similar experiences, and we wanted to stop that. We wanted to find a way to have David fight Goliath, and we have that answer, and it's really, really cool. Essentially, how we looked at this is kind of sort of like if there was a bully in school picking on the kids. Uh, all of a sudden, a, a bigger kid who had a bigger heart, who wasn't a bully, came in and bullied the bully out. That's what we created here. So what am I talking about? Well, we found a bigger bully or a bigger kid, if you will, who is working with us to, to allow you to borrow their cash to make an all cash offer that is guaranteed to close and doesn't have our appraisal contingency. Basically making our offers just as good, if not better than the big guys. So this is how it works. The first thing we do, we fully dive into your financial picture and we do a pre-approve you for a mortgage. If you're wondering why do we pre-approve you for a mortgage if we're purchasing cash, well stick with me, it'll make sense in a minute. 
Well, after now that we know that you're a solid buyer, we now make cash offers, again, that guarantees the sellers to close without an appraisal. Now that we get you approved from the mortgage, we are gonna make an all cash offer that's guaranteed to close with no appraisal contingencies that's drastically going to increase the chances of you securing that house as it uh, more so than if you obtained a mortgage. Sellers love that. And what we're gonna do during the process, we are going to honor our cash offer, but we at the same time, we are going to attempt to approve you through that mortgage. Now at this point, we're pretty confident that you're going to get approved, but let's say you don't for some reason, and that's fine. We still honor the contract that we guarantee to the seller and we close on the property with our cash. And then after the fact, we figure out what cause do you not to get approved for the mortgage, we work on fixing it, and then we sell the property back to you. It's really a win-win. We have a cash offer of competing with the big boys. We guarantee the sellers that they're gonna close without an appraisal contingency. If things go bad, we honor that closing. And then we work with you after that closing to sell it to you so you end up with your dream home. If you're looking in the Southeast Florida market and this is something that can benefit you, which you definitely should if you're thinking about getting a mortgage and a new house down here, we'll give the Home Spy Cousy a call or you can text us or you can go to the website and submit your information and we'll love to guide you through the process. We're always here for you and we're always working.